Hi guys, I'm here with uh, Kai Kara France. He's a UFC flyweight and he's ranked number nine in the world, so it's awesome to have him here today to go over some techniques with us. So today we're gonna go over a uh, problem that some people have when they fight southpaws or even orthodox. First movements, uh, when you're throwing a left kick if I'm a southpaw or a rear left hand is your hip, right? So if I'm facing Kai here, one of the first movements I should make as I go to throw my left hand or my rear kick is my hip drive. So my rear hip should push forwards as far as I can because if my hip extends, my shoulders are gonna open up and extend as far as they can for a punch, so I'm gonna get the maximum reach. And also if I extend my hip when I kick, it's gonna push my body side on, which allows me to reach further with my kick. So the best way to think about this guys is the chain of movement of your body. So it should go foot, hip, shoulder, elbow, hand. So the way I like to think of it is that my hand is just a bullet and a gun. So if I fire a gun, the last thing to happen is the bullet leaving the gun. So I should consider my fist as a bullet. It should be the last thing on my mind. The first thing on my mind should be the trigger, which is gonna be my heel. So if I step in to throw my left hand, my heel's gonna turn, my hip's gonna drive forwards, my shoulder's gonna go, my elbow's gonna follow, and then my fist is just gonna roll over at the last second. Boom. So this is the chain of movement you wanted to, what you wanna achieve with your left hand. When I throw my left kick, to try and make them look similar, I can't afford to move my left hand. So if I throw my kick, I can't afford any telegraphing. So as I kick, I can't move my hands like this as I kick, or I can't do a skip or a hop or anything like that. I just have to stand here and throw my kick and my hand has to move exactly like it would for a left hand, just at the last minute. So when I throw my left, my straight left hand, all my body mechanics from the bottom go first. My feet, my hips, my shoulder, and my hand. Boom. And then my hand will land last. So when I throw my kick, my hand is gonna be the last thing to move. Boom. Like this, okay? My hand just goes bang at the last second. What I'm trying to do is sell my hip drive as a left hand by coming in like this. So when I throw my left hand, boom. When I throw my kick, boom. Okay? So when I get really good at this uh, this small movement of making my hip move first, very hard for my opponent to tell whether my left kick is coming, my left knee, my left hand, my left elbow. So this tiny movement essentially becomes a fake, but even better than a fake because I don't actually have to do anything first. Usually when I throw my rear hand, I just step in and punch. Bang. Okay, so if I am gonna skip my kick in and I'm trying to sell my left hand the same way, I have to repeat the exact same thing. I can't change it all. So guys, I can accomplish the exact same thing if I'm an orthodox fighter. So if me cut and kind of switch around, so you can see the open side of my body. If I throw my right hand and I push my hip forwards, whoop, I can make it very hard to tell if my low kick's coming, whoop, if my knee's coming, or if my head kick's coming. As long as my hand stays steady. All right, so there's no skip, there's no telegraph, and it's just as similar as I can make it. So uh, I've personally encountered this problem when I fought a Muay Thai fighter from Bangkok called Rangui. Uh, I fought him two times now, I beat him once and he beat me, and the biggest problem I had was just his left kick and his left hand. So he didn't really have a giant arsenal of attack, like it was nothing super fancy, he was just a master at one thing, which was his left kick, and then because his left kick occupied me, it was a very hard kick, so it was like it occupied all of my attention really. As soon as I saw his hip move, I'd brace up to try to take the kick, but he would unleash his left hand. So what he'd do is he'd come up on his toes like this, as though he was kicking, and just go boom and throw his left hand. So I would bunk it down to take the kick and then just get punched in the face. He mastered that tiny little skill, that tiny little movement that I picked up on but then he just turned it into a fake. So I had a very difficult fight, as much as uh, I knew to, and should have been able to beat him quite quite easily. Those two details that he had made the fight extremely close and a split decision. Now you have one small skill set that you can work on to try and master and make it very hard uh, for your opponents or your sparring partners to read whether you're gonna throw a right hand or a right kick or a left hand or a left kick. So if you guys have ever come across this, comment below and let me know or a sudden epiphany about why you had a hard time with the southpaw. Like, go back and watch your fight and uh, let me know below as well if uh, this has helped you at all. Uh, and also click on the notification bell for the uh, next video.